Hello and welcome to another Outlaws of Thunder Junction draft. I'm Paul Chion and we are now very, very close to Mythic. We've been on a very, very good streak and we are now sitting at Diamond Tier 1. So hopefully, hopefully in this draft we can hit Mythic and then the climb to rank 1 will continue. Let's see. I mean, we've been on a pretty good streak. Let's not break it now. Now, if you've enjoyed this content and wanted to support the channel in another way, I do have a Patreon channel. The link to the Patreon is in the description below, and I want to give a special shout out to all the current patrons. I really do appreciate all of your support. One other thing is that I did recently release my Patreon exclusive video. I do make an exclusive video for all patrons of the Hounf tier and above uh, once a month, and this month it was a very fun stipulation draft that I posted on the Patreon. So if you're interested in that and also joining the Discord where you have access to um, a bunch of different channels and there's lots and lots of discussions going on about uh, OTJ Limited, it is the place to go. All right, let's hop into this queue and see if we can keep the good streak going. What do we have in this pack? Legion Extruder. When Legion Extruder enters the battlefield, it deals two damage to any target Sack an artifact, make a 3-3 token. So this is mostly ETB deal 2 damage to something. I'm going to move on. Caustic Bronco is interesting. I've never really played with this card. It looks like it can be pretty good. Uh, additionally, Back for More is really cool. But it's a 2-color card. And I think they're similar enough in power level. I'm going to take the 2-drop. This card just feels like just pretty savage if you can ever saddle it. And if it ever lives... You get a bunch of value. This card is this pack is very good though. There's shoot to sheriff as a solid removal spell. Trash to town is an okay combat trick. I really like patient naturalist. I think it's the best common here probably, along with take up the shield. Back for more is really good if you want to go black green. And I am a fan of black green, but I want to. I'm kind of. I've played with back for more before. I'm kind of in a situation here where I do want to try out all the rares, and I think this is a really great opportunity to do so. And moving on here, I mean, I think this is just a pretty. Good follow-up here. Vault Plunder with Caustic Bronco does seem like a really nice one too, right? Turn 2 bro uh, Bronco into turn 3 pun Plunder is very nice. Electro Dominance is okay, but it is a pretty inefficient removal spell. Red is also one of the weaker colors, so you have to spend a lot of mana. Uh, you do get the mana back by, because it allows you to play something for free, but I think I'm going to take the Vault Plunder, try to cut off black if I can, to go with this Caustic Bronco. Outside of that, Resilient Roadrunner is also pretty decent. I also just didn't know that this had an ability. So in a previous video, I didn't know that you can make this unblockable. So I do think that's pretty nice, but I'm more interested. I think it's close. So I'm interested in just cutting off the black here and taking the Vault Plunderer. And uh, moving on here, just to go with the um, first pick, Caustic Bronco. All right, moving on. What do we have? Pretty solid pack. Siphon Insight is pretty cool. It does target the opponent. So it's a way to gain card advantage while also targeting the opponent, which allows you to commit a crime right? But um, a Rakish Crew is also pretty good if you're like the Black Red Mercenary deck, if you want to dream people out. Caught in the Crossfire, I haven't found to be that great. For me, it's between Cactarantula, Prickly Pear, and Vault Plunderer. I think they're all pretty close. Um, so I feel like there's just, another, again, no reason to s stray from what I have right now. So I'm just going to keep taking Vault Plunderer. I just think having more three power creatures is good. This does feel like red could be open, but I, I am a big fan of the Vault Plunderer to go with the Caustic Broncos. So let's go ahead and just keep taking the black cards here. And then, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to take the Gila Courser. Is that how I'm supposed to pronounce it? Uh, now, now there's a card that's enough better than the Vault Plunderer where I'm going to take... Also, there's not a Vault, vault Plunderer in this pack. So I, I do think this is a premium, premium creature. Another creature that has more than three power that I can play on turn three to go with the Caustic Bronco. Mourner Surprise is a decent recursion thing, recursion card. Certainly very good with Vault Plunder and Caustic Bronco. But I do think now I'm going to take the Courser. It does feel like Black Red uh, may be the seat that we need to be. So I'm going to take the Courser here. And uh, I haven't drafted Black Red yet, so let's see how this goes. Moving on to this pack, Step Between Worlds is not really the type of card that you want in your deck. I mean, it's, it's a symmetrical effect, and I'm not a fan of Symmetry and Limited. Uh, you get seven cards, your opponents get seven cards, not something that I want. Uh, Brimstone Roundup is interesting if you're playing like the blue-red multiple spells plot deck. But that's not what this deck is trying to do. I'm just going to take another solid three mana, three power creature here in the Irascible Wolverine. So this deck is awesome. Look at this. It's a black-red deck with all two-for-ones. 
Caustic Bronco, two for one. Plunderer, Courser, they all get you value. So I'm pretty excited about this start that I have so far. Uh, really interested in maybe some interaction here, but uh, we'll keep things going. That's a really, really late outlaw stitcher. I don't think I'm going to take it out of this pack, though. There's a Festering Gulch if I wanted to commit a crime. What does this one do? Tarnation Vista. Tarnation Vista enters a battlefield tapped. As it enters, choose a color. For each color among monocolor permanent, you can... You know, I want to try this card. Although it's not a desert. So is this even good? Do I want Trick Shot? Fake your own death, maybe as a combat trick? Ah, you know, I take it back. I th with, wh with what we have so far, Fake Your Own Death could be a decent combat trick. And now we're going to take the Desert's Dew. We're going to take the Desert's Dew as just a really, really solid removal spell. I don't mind Outlaw's Fury in these types of decks, but I like Desert's Dew more. But now that we have the Desert's Dew, do, definitely want to prioritize uh, some Deserts if we can get a hold of it. Take the Rodeo... No, I mean, am I ever playing this card? I guess I'll just take it. I'm not just going to rare draft here for no reason. So let's just cut off the red card just to make it clear to whoever we're playing with that red is not available. Don't mind Quill Charger. Man, this deck hits pretty hard. Yeah, Vault Plunder plus uh, Fake Your Own Death is also very, very nice. Uh, Frostification, sadly, not quite getting it done in this format. So not something that I'm going to take here. I'm just going to take the Quill Charger. You just only... You don't have that much room for effects like that it's like i want tricks removal spells and big creatures that's mostly what i want to be doing in this format highway robbery is okay it's better in the decks that are looking to cast multiple spells in one turn but black red i you know i haven't drafted black red so i don't actually know but i do feel like black red probably just is looking to i don't know beat people down i'll take another fake your own death as a fine combat trick Particularly with the Plunderers, I think it's really cool, but could use some more two drops. We're really, really good on threes and would be nice to maybe pick up a desert or two. Would like big creature removal, so the um, exile target creature spell would be really nice here, along with maybe trick shot. You know, I actually don't mind this card, so I'm going to take the Pulverizer. I don't like the Nizumi Link Breaker. I think this card only really has a home in the black white sacrifice deck but the pulverizer i found to be an okay filler card it's just a decent sized body five mana for a four or five reach is just not the worst and you know if you can play multiple spells being able to hit them for two scry one additionally when you do hit them you are committing a crime as well which could be relevant at times on top of that i mean right now it probably wouldn't make the cut because we already have 10 playable cards but i'm just saying it's not a totally embarrassing card to put into your deck but I'm cutting it. <laughs> All right. Ooh, Vadmir. Sign me up. I said I needed a two drop. We have two two mana rare creatures. Very, very excited about Vadmir. Uh, taking a look at some of the other cards. Outcaster Greenblade is premium. One of the best uncommons in the set. This card is amazing. Oftentimes, this is a three mana, three, four that gets you a land. So that's very good. Krom is also extremely powerful. Savage Smash is also a very solid removal spell if you're Gruul. So a lot of good uncommons here, but this is a very, very clear Vadmir here for us, given that we want two mana cards. All right, moving on to this pack. Am I just taking all the Vault Plunderers? There's another Krom. There is another Krom, but that's not where we want to be. Tiny Bones joins up. Black, ETB, discard a card. And when, whenever Legendary Creature enters the battlefield, any number of players each mills a card and loses one life. Huh. I have one legendary creature. I'm just going to take Vault Plunderer. Like, we know Vault Plunderer is going to be good in here. Throw from the saddle, notably the best common in the set currently. All right. We are great on three. So definitely, if I if we see another pack where it's like another Vault Plunderer or something somewhere else on the curve that's similar in power level, we'll definitely be taking that. The problem with red is that I don't know that they have great two mana cards. Actually, the Duelist isn't terrible, especially with a card like the Vadmir. Being able to have a consistent way to deal uh, to cr commit crime while pumping this every turn is not the worst. Black is the one that has access to the good 2-drop because you had the uh, the zombie that gains you the 2-2 two, two, two lifelinker. That's just a really solid card to play in your deck. All right, what do we have here? Ooh, I do need removal. Uh, I mean, I like Prickly Pear. 
but we just have no ways to kill anything right now. So I do think it's close between the two, but because we already have five three mana creatures that are all very solid, I mean, Prickly Pear is also very good. I'm going to take the derailment just because I feel like it's kind of a bigger hole in our deck currently. And moving on. Uh, here we have Disturbing Peddler, just a filler level card. Irascible Wolverine, like I said, I like all the threes I have. So I'm just going to take Skewer the Critics as another good removal spell. Um, especially in an aggressive deck like this. Also with Deserts, it's one mana deal three damage to kill somebody. Or to deal three damage to something. So that's really, really good. And now we're going to take the Black Red Desert. So this pack's going really, really solidly for us. I do like Mourner Surprise. Would like to pick up a copy here, especially because I have two good rares that I'd like to buy back. Also, just getting back Plunder or Corsair or Wolverine is also something you want to do. But I can't really, I don't really want to pass up on an on-color desert. Notably, Throw from the Saddle, Frontier Seeker, Mes Mystical Tether, all very good cards in this pack. But uh, yeah, really solid pack so far. Got a couple of removal spells, an on-color desert, and Vadmir. Cannot complain. All right, moving on to this pack, we have Lively Dirge. I like this card more in black green as you have two commons that let you mill. Um, in this deck, we're spending a bunch of mana to get like a Vadmir into play. It doesn't seem that great. So I don't think I want that. Trick Shot is kind of expensive. So it's kind of like a filler level removal spell. So I think I'm just going to take another Desert here for the Desert's do, And we have a Vadmir as well. I think this is a pretty, like, it's like take Bristling... Backwoods or like a C minus level removal spell. I'll just take the desert here just to go with my desert stew. And it just, it's looking like we're going to have enough playables with uh, approximately 17 million vault plunderers in our deck. And I am here for it. All right. I guess now we'll take the trick shot. Not a big fan of Silver Deputy. So not going to play that one. So I guess this is an opportunity to take a removal spell for big creatures. I mean, right now we only have a single five drop. So. I think it's okay to have one copy of this in your deck just as a way to make sure you have an answer to the various five fives that you're going to have to deal with right now. Now we have four removal spells, but we're not especially good at killing big things outside of the trick shot. Black is where you get access to that, but don't see anything right now. Here we have Obeka. I don't think this card's any good. What are you supposed to do with a million combat steps? I don't know. Uh, Band this is not a Bandit's Hall deck. I'm looking to curve out and beat people down. I might play the Gigapede. We'll see. I'll just put it in here for now. Definitely not playing Link Breaker ever, so I'm just going to take the rare. I just have more than enough playables here. I might play the Black, Song, Black Snag Buzzard, though. Black Red does have a lot of removal, and right now I'm kind of light on twos, and this gives me something to do on turn two, right? I can just plot this on turn two if I need, so let's go ahead and take that. Take Overselless Muscle. These are all filler cards. Hoping not to play it. Maybe play just like one copy of Fake Your Own Death. So this is kind of my setup for now. But we have plenty of random cards in our sideboard that can certainly make it into our deck here. We can even cut the trick shot. Oh, and one of the best rares in the set. But we're not green. Bristly Bill, Spine Sower. This card is amazing. Two mana, two, two. Whenever land enters a battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Is that real? Five mana, double the number of counters on each creature you control. It's, it's just completely unreasonable. That's what this card is. Completely unreasonable. For us, I'm not really that interested in Rakish Crew. I just don't think this card's very good. Um, so I think I'm just going to take a, a Derailment and just take another Removal spell here. I like it a lot. Uh, having a good number of Removal makes the Black Snack Buzzard better as well. I do like it over the Treasure Dredger. So let's go ahead with that. I mean, this is looking like... Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, which one do I take? Which one do I take? Jasper Flint or Stingerback Terror. Oh my gosh, I'm on 17 lands. They have the exact same win rate. Gets minus one. You know, I have so many two for ones in my deck and I really want to play with this card. Like this one is obviously good, right? It's just a large, it's just a large flying dragon, right? But I have a lot of two for ones. I feel like I'm going to have a decent number of cards in my hand and I really want to take this card. So let's try Laughing Jasper Flint. Let us try. Oh, and now Blood Hustler. Oh my gosh. We are getting the absolute hookups here in this pack. Wow. So Blood Hustler, Vadmir, Caustic Bronco, Laughing Jasper. Uh, Vault Plunder is a rogue, right? So creatures you control but don't own are mercenaries. So all your creatures become mercenaries. 
At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top X cards of target opponent's library, where X is the number of outlaws you control. Until end of turn, you may cast those spells. So, I mean, it just draws you the best card out of the top X cards of your opponent's library, equal to the number of creatures you control. That card is fantastic. And of course, we come back down to Earth with a pack with absolutely nothing for us. Uh, I don't know, maybe... I'm never playing this main deck. Like, if this was best of three, I would take Neutralize the Guards, but... I'll take a gold. Maybe I'll take the sh I don't know. I'm not playing any of these cards. That was just a blank of a pack. All right, moving on. We need more two. So let's go ahead. Desperate Bloodseeker commits crimes. It's a two drop. It does everything. It's perfect. I'll take it I, I I'll take it over the inspiring vantage. It's not even a desert. All right. So four twos now and another skewer the critics. Let's go. I am happy enough to take that over the blue red desert. And this deck is coming together very, very nicely. We have... I'm probably playing this Buzzard, right? Alright, what do we have here? I don't like Quick Draw. I have two Fake Your Own Deaths. That's a really late Patient Naturalist. I'll take this Brimstone Roundup, I guess. I, I don't foresee myself playing that card, though. Oh, I'm excited about this deck, though. We have five removal spells. I mean, could play the Trick Shot, too, if we want to kill something big. Uh, Bucolic Ranch doesn't really do anything. We don't have any mounts. Or we don't have that many mounts. We have three. So I don't think it's worth it. It is a desert, though. Am I ever playing Corrupted Conviction? I mean, I'll just take it, I guess. But I don't think I'm playing it. Is Ferocification something that I want? I don't think so. I think I just want another Buzzard. Just with all the removal that I have. I think it could be good here. Maybe not. I don't know. We have 18 cards I really like. And then we will fill out our deck with the rest. Ooh, Reckless Lackey. Do not mind that at all. Definitely playing that here. I don't really like the boots. I don't know if it's good here. We'll take a look after. All right. Let us see what this deck's going to look like. What would you have taken, by the way? Would you have taken the Dragon or the Laughing Jasper Flint? I think it's early enough where most people probably take Jasper Flint just because it's the way sweeter card. But I don't actually know what's, which one's better. All right. What do we want here out of all of these cards? I think I can probably use a second combat trick. Then we need three more cards. Maybe the trick shot. All right. We actually did not end up with as many playables as I thought I would. Let's take a look here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we need two more creatures, I guess. And we could use something at the top end of the curve. So let's take a look here. There's also the buzzards. Uh, but I, I took a look. This, I mean, I do have a lot of removal. So if there is a deck where the buzzard can be good, it's this one, right? We have five removal spells, and this is evasive. There's also the pulverizer, which I think is just a fine card to play. I mean, I guess I can use a pulverizer just to have it at the top end of my curve. And then I don't really like the pyromancers. I don't think I like the boots very much either. And it, I kind of want to have one more creature in here. I guess I can play like one buzzard. I do think I like the pulverizer more than the muscle. And gigapede costs six, so I'm not the biggest fan. All right, let's play one buzzard. And uh, see how this plays out. All right, let's take a look at our colors. A little more black than red. Nine black, 15, 16, 17. Nine black, nine red, it's about identical. All right, let's give this a whirl. I'm pretty excited about this. And normally, uh, my curve isn't very high, so I would play um, 16 lands. But given the fact that we have Quadruple Vault Plunderer, uh, we just have a lot of two-for-one, so I just feel like we can afford to play the extra land and um, not lose that way, at least. So let's see how this goes. I really wanted the the uh, the, uh, the card that lets me buy something back from the graveyard. Um Mourner, mourner something. 
the one black raised dead just because I have so many good creatures, but sadly we didn't get any. Gonna keep this hand. Caustic Bronco into um, Irascible Wolverine seems great. Probably gonna plot this. Opponent on the mulligan. Oh, never mind. We got the Vault Plunderer. I love me a Vault Plunderer. Really wish we were on the play here. But turn two, Caustic Bronco. Turn three, Vault Plunderer, Saddle. Get in there. Now, we just need to hope that they don't play like an X3. Oh, never mind. They just played a, a Mystical Tether. Play Vault Plunderer. Draw a card. Ooh, the combo. We have the combo. Bridled Bighorn. Interesting. What do I want to do here? I'll attack. Then we'll play a Desperate Bloodseeker. Do I have anything to recur from my graveyard? I'm not actually sure. I'll target myself. Ugh, hit some action. The thing is, there's a lot of good graveyard recursion, so I kind of don't want to target my opponent, right? There's just a lot of ways for my opponent to be able to use cards from their graveyard, so... I think this is just, you just play it, and you just mill yourself for the most part, unless you actually need to commit a crime. Now, if they play something here to saddle the, brig, uh, the bridled bighorn, I think that's okay. They do have two mana available here. They make a 1-1. One, one. They're not playing. How are you playing Counterspell? What? What? Oh, you're blue. Bl okay. Whatever. Whatever, bro. Oh, so they're blue, white, splash, black. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of an all in play, wasn't it? That was. That was silly. I don't know. Maybe I just shouldn't have attacked. Yeah, maybe that was just a silly attack. Hopefully we can grind them out of their resources here. Yeah, you know, it just feels terrible to get two for one. Maybe I just... I got greedy with that attack. Well, like, was I supposed to double block? I'm not even sure. Then now they have Baron Bertram. What is happening? Okay. Wait. They messed. Oh, they saddled. Did they saddle this? Yeah, they did. All right, so let's block the Gardener and the Bighorn. Fake our own death. Here. Get a treasure. Draw a card. Need to find a removal spell for Baron. Did not find it, sadly. Let's target ourselves with the Plunderer. Removal spell. Can't find it, sadly. Story of my life. Uh, this is a pretty good blocker. I feel like I'm just going to play this and use my treasure. And I'll plot this. Like, the fact that this... Act, like, these three ones are not very good against one, one ones, right? So, just play this so this can block these one, one, one tokens. All 
All right, we'll take four. All right, Wolverine, find us something good. That is not something good. Find us something good. All right, that is something good. Hmm. Yeah, let's just do it. Right, let me make sure I targeted this right. Six damage, one damage. Okay. All right. I mean, we draw we we've drawn a lot of cards. What is this attack? Rooftop assassin? Okay. All right. Drew a lot of lands. I don't know, what am I, am I supposed to play 16 lands here? I'm not sure. That attack, that no attack makes me feel like I'm in a pretty okay spot here. Oh, what am I doing? Oh no, they have lifelink, they have lifelink. I, I wouldn't have killed them. All right. We did, we did two for one them out. The Vault Plunderers plus Fake Your Own Death is very, very good. All right. Whew. That was an ugly, ugly game. I did not play that game perfectly. Let's take a look at the sideboard here just to see if I'm missing... If there's something that I just should be playing. This bu The Buzzard looked pretty bad. The I wonder if the Corrupted Conviction is good just because I have like... I mean, I guess I don't really have anything to sacrifice other than, like, sacking the lackey isn't even that good. I could play Highway Robbery, Overzealous Muscle, just none of these options seem especially good. Now, let's just, let's just, let's not get too crazy here with the 16 land nonsense. It's okay. 17 lands, let's go. Okay, we have a Blood Hustler here. Sadly, I, I have to play the Jagged. Like if I can draw, we're on the draw here though. But if I can draw a Swamp, I'd like to be able to use this Blood Hustler, the Jagged Barons to pump my Blood Hustler. Oh, we did draw a Swamp, perfect. So now we can go Lackey, beat down, turn two Blood Hustler, and then turn three, we can play the Jagged Barons if we really want to. I don't think I want to use Fake Your Own Death to kill the uh, the Bristleback Sentry. I think I'd rather use it to save my Vault Plunderer. Interesting. Okay. Well, now they get to attack me. Huh. Well, I mean, the Vault. to be fair, the Vault Plunderer does... Uh, Gets me a treasure. I'm just going to play Vault Plunderer. Not going to get too crazy. Happy enough trading Vault Plunderer for literally anything. Like, literally will trade for anything. I wonder if I should... No, that seems bad. That was a lot of damage, though, I will say. So Deserts do can kill the Bristle Pack Sentry. 
I can play another Vault Plunder, but it doesn't block the Beaver very well. I think I'm actually just going to pass here. I have a couple of good tricks available. We'll see what they choose to do. For example, fake your own death is pretty good. And Desert's Dew is also pretty good because I can use that to grow my Blood Hustler. The only unfortunate part about this is the fact that... Um, yeah... All right, how do I want to do this? I can kill the sentry. Or I can shrink the beaver. Hmm. Let's kill the sentry and see what they have. It seems like they have nothing. The thing is, I need to fight through these tricks anyways. Oh, yeah. I am I am fine with this. Okay. That, that was about as well as it could have gone for us, to be fair. Wow. Okay. And they didn't have a counterspell. Let's play Vault Plunderer. Caustic Bronco. And they didn't even have a Spinewood Paladin, so they must have like a Cactorantula. Never mind. That's not that's not fair. You can, you're not allowed to play the best rare in the set against me. Come on. That's not fair. So we're going to fake our own death and then skewer the critics this this bow token. Ugh. I mean, no other option here, right? Oh, Bonnie Paul, how ridiculous are you? I mean, I guess I can consider myself lucky. Nobody has ever played that against me yet. Oh, so many big creatures. Oh, I'm at one. Oh my gosh. Do these trample? Okay, they don't trample. We die to any desert though. So I'm gonna. S oh my gosh. Nexus of Becoming? How am I supposed to beat this? Oh goodness.
Five, six, seven, eight. All right. Sweet deck opponent. Sweet deck. Our deck is fine. It's good at killing little things. Bonnie Paul is a problem, I will say. All right. Let's keep this going. Black, red. Got some solid twos. We'll keep this. Uh, three lands. Desert Stew, Desperate Bloodseeker, Gila Corsair, and the Iron Fist Pulverizer. All right. What you got to do is you target with your, yourself with the Bloodseeker and just ignore it, okay? Just ignore what you milled. Don't even think about it. Oh my gosh. That is a nice one. The question is, do I run it out right away? Or do I just play like the Gila Courser? Because I just, I don't have a lot of mana. I don't, I think the, here, here's the thing. I think the Courser is better just because um, it, it also is a lightning rod for removal. And so if they use their mystical tether on this, then I can play the Jasper Flint. That's at least my thought process. It gives me another... It, this also gives us a higher chance of finding a land. There we go. Well, now we don't have a choice, so we'll play this. If they had a Mystical Tether, they would have played it last turn, I think. So... I'm feeling pretty reasonably okay about this Laughing Jasper Flint. Oh, now they have four mana though, so they can kill kill it with Lasso or... Oh, nothing, okay. Okay. Ah, it was just a land. Darn it. I'll keep up Fake Your Own Death. Come on, lands. We would like a land. So you can only play spell... I guess I wonder if it was worth it to actually trade off my Bloodseeker. Just because you want more creatures in play with Jasper Flint. Ah, uh, okay. I guess I should kill this. It does make this bigger. Is it another land? Come on! Oh, and then we hit Skewer the Critics. Ay ay ay. They're like, do I want to do this? This is kind of rough. But I do want to keep their the number of creatures they have low because of the Sheriff. The nice thing is I at least can play Fake Your Own Death for two mana. Would really like to draw lands here, though. We drew two of our five drops. Oh my gosh! We hit three lands in a row with Jasper. Goodness. I'm not going to attack this turn with open mana. I'll just play... Well... Yeah, I'll just play the Quill Charger. Alright. Now we get to exile two things. So if they don't kill Jasper, we're okay. Okay. 
We do have Trick Shot here for the Vengeful Townsfolk. Black Snack Buzzard, I am assuming they're going to play this now. Yep. All right, we're going to hit some... Ooh, Journey to Nowhere. I like. Let's get this out of here. Let's uh, saddle this up. Okay, yeah. Jasper is pretty great, let's be real. Alright. We get a treasure out of this deal as well. I mean, if this dies, it dies, but just seems like too, too good of an exchange there. What do we hit? Neutralize the guards. Oh, that's actually really good. <laughs> Uh. Can, when can I do this? Until end of turn? Until end of turn. Okay. Let's just play this. All right, two and one. Jasper Splint, Jasper Splint? Jasper Flint, getting it done. I will say I am pretty glad that we sequenced that in such a way where we um, got our opponent to use a removal spell on the Courser and then Jasper Flint ended up doing some work there. All right, Sir K. Two and one. Let's go first. All right, we went first. And, ooh, this is a fantastic hand. Could use, like, another land or two, I guess. I am leading off with the desert here, but we have Blood Hustler, two lands, Vadmir, Desert Stew, Derailment, and Fake Your Own Death. Vadmir is pretty sweet. I mean, mostly it's just a two-mana two-two that, um, that grows whenever you commit a crime. I don't know how often you get to four counters on this thing, but if you do, obviously it's great. Our opponent had Deserts Do. We are very sad. We now have uh, Vadmir Light in the Blood Hustler here. Interesting. What do we want to do? It's really tempting for uh, to use the um, derailment here, but I'm just going to attack with Blood Hustler and see what they do. If they block, I'll use Deserts Do. Just because derailment kills bigger things. Like if they play a Lone Shark, the derailment kills the Lone Shark. The thing is, I'm going to kill this regardless. All right, so they didn't, so I'm just going to do this. I could also use... I could have used it to kill an artifact. I just don't think we're in a position where... We're not in a position where I'm going to get to the five mana to be able to kill this and something else. Okay. They repulsed my Blood Hustler. It's not too bad, but... We... Yeah. I mean, I'm just going to play it again. Our opponent has a sweet control deck here set up. Vault Plunderer, okay. Hmm. I, I could keep up Fake Your Own Death, but I just want to use my mana here and use the Black Snack Buzzard. Like, if they kill my Blood Hustler, so be it. Also, I couldn't have saved it against the Consuming Ashes anyways. All right, and we're just going to play this. What is this, Mana Drain? Okay. 
<laughs> I was like, it could have been mana drain. It could have been mana drain. Oh my gosh, it might be mana drain. I knew it! How did I know? Ah, oh, Disgusting. How did we get mana drained in this format? Oh my gosh. What are you, blue-black splashing pulverizers now? That's what we're doing? Oh man. I'm gonna two for one myself here. Alright, you have five mana. <laughs> they had nothing to do with their mana. Great. This reckless lackey could go all the way. Emergent haunting. Okay. Maybe it won't go all the way. They have to have some kind of like bad removal spell or something, or just a removal spell in general. Maybe not. All right, let's target ourselves. Oh, that's great. I feel like they would have played their Phantom Interference if they had it. So I'm just burning out the Quill Charger here. They get to do some scrying here, but hey, now we have a pretty formidable force. I could see them doing an upkeep surveil, but we also have fake your own death here. I do think Rix's control is very fun to draft. The only issue is snakeskin veil is a is really problematic. Like a well-timed snakeskin veil can just cause all kinds of chaos. Highway robbery, interesting. So they're not going to make a 3 3 here, which is good for us. Okay, let's play Vault Plunderer. Target ourselves. Play a land. Saddle. For maximum damages. Some kind of removal spell. I want to get the value here. All right, they're at six. Next turn, we can play the Courser, saddle this up again, and attack. I guess the Bloodseeker can't attack that well with the Haunting in play. We'll see what else they have. Iron Fist Pulverizer and the Raven. Oh, and they hit us and they get to scroll. Okay, sure. All right, so what's going to happen here? Let's play this. If this gets double blocked, this can't get double blocked. So this is going to, they're going to take five from this and they block all the other three creatures and go to one. So Pulverizer eats the, yeah, I mean. So 
So Pulverizer eats the Bloodseeker, and these two eat those. I believe that's what's going to happen. Or that. Okay, yeah, that also works. All right, well, they're at one, and I have three creatures. They have one creature. So if they find a removal... Like, they need to find, like, a two-for-one. Oh, did they know what they have on top? Okay. Okay. So, these two cards need to be awesome. Could have considered surveilling. Because they have so much mana. But maybe they need all the mana to play all their stuff. Do we have how many vault plunderers left do we have? Cause a vault plunderer. Cause a vault plunderer would uh just kill them. Did they find a removal spell too? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I mean that gets it done, right? We'll go to your face. <laughs> Boom. All right. I am surprised we were able to get that done. We were able to grind through. That's the thing, though, with our deck. It's got a ton of two-for-ones, right? It's got just all my three drops just give me value. So when you... And, and that's what makes playing control decks tough in this format. Because there's so many creatures that ETBs and gives you something, Patient Naturalist, Vault Plunderer, the Corsair, the, uh, the Irascible Wolverine, just like, how are you supposed to go over the top of all those two-for-ones, right? It, it's hard. It's difficult. That's, but I do like Crime Control. But you do need some really good top-end stuff to be able to take over the game once you've killed some of the important creatures. All right. Uh, I mean, not a great hand, but I'm going to keep it. We can... Uh, Turn two, Black Snag Buzzard. Turn three, Vault Plunderer. Turn four, Vault Plunderer. But my opponent's playing Forest, so I'm always scared. They also just played Fortune, which is really good. Very, very good. Need to find some red mana here. Whoa. They didn't attack? Why didn't they? It doesn't... Huh. All right. Getting phantom interference always sucks. Oh my gosh. They're going to get a desert here and they're going to blink this. That's disgusting. Yeah, fortune is so good. All right. Well, I don't foresee us winning this one. This is going to be a 4-5 on top of that. And this is the problem playing against the green. Like, their creatures are so big. Like, red just isn't very good at killing these things. I re... Like, if I want to win this game, I need to draw a mountain, like, now. Oh. Oh, deck. Did it to myself.
Yeah, it's rough when you're the one who has to play your combat trick first. Oh, come on. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> this combo is so obscene. You know, eventually people are not going to be able to get this many deserts, but right now it's still early. You live your best life. Surely, with the five cards they have in all the scries, they have no way to kill my Jasper Flint. Just casually a 5-6. Oh my, okay. That's very good. Alright. Okay, Jasper, maybe we can deck them. Dance of the Tumbleweeds. I do like that. Oh, I didn't really think about this. Do I want to kill the Outcaster Green Blade or do I want a desert in play? Four, five, six, seven, eight, I should have got a desert. I don't know what I was thinking. So, so bad. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, it's actually painful. It's actually painful. They must have a wrath or something, right? Wow, they played all these good cards and then all of a sudden all of this happened. Yeah, so they should be at a lower life total here. Oh, well. Um, this thing has reach. They have the Dazzler, which is a little bit scary because they have four cards in hand. I can attack with the 8-8, but then I don't have great blockers. Well, but they have to block, right? Wow. <laughs> man I'm making so many like mi like minor errors here and there and we're still kind of pulling this off I just this is ridiculous it's one of the it's one of those if any of you are also content creators it's one of those like should I post this I mean my record's okay but man some of these games look really ugly Ooh, this is a nice hand. We have turn one Lackey into turn two Blood Hustler into Jagged Barons to pump the Blood Hustler. Although I do have a Gila Courser that I want to play on three. Oh, I drew the land. I'm good. Lackey gets in, turn two Hustler, turn three Courser, turn four Jagged Barons. Silver Deputy in the red-green deck. All right. They must have something very powerful to splash. 
They just got a plains. Okay. Ooh. We drew a double desert here, which is nice. I didn't attack you. They're just always blocking. You're just not losing. Ugh. Just this again? This again? And they scry to the top. Just give me a, de a derailment. Come on. Just give me a derailment. Did they scry to the top? I think they did. So I'm going to I'm going to do this. I'm going to disrupt you just a little bit here. What are they? I don't even know what they kept. I'm not playing my um, deserts just yet. Because this only triggers once a turn. Ah, okay. They had the buried in the garden. Oh, well. Do they really want to get another land? I doubt it. Oh, they do. Okay. I assume they're going to keep it on... <laughs> yeah, they kept it on... I assume they keep it on top. All right. Let's uh, see if the Corsair can get us some value. Not playing that desert earlier now that after they killed our hustler is a little unfortunate because like I can't play my trick shot. I feel like there's a pretty good shot they're going to play something big here. Oh, it's just unlicensed hearse. I, you know, there's a lot of things to do with your graveyard. I, I can see the case being made to playing unlicensed hearse. Until the end of your next turn. So I am going to play at this land because I want to be able to play trick shot if I absolutely need to. I like that one. Let me tell you. Wait, they're just not going to do anything to it? Wow. Okay, let's keep getting value then. They didn't kill it. So what do they have? I mean... Presumably awesome things. But we have two saddle creatures that both get us a lot of value. Unlicensed Hearse is now up to a 2-2. But we're at 17. Maybe they're just like super duper flooded. But I mean, they got a conduit pylons. One of their cards is something really expensive. Probably. Okay. That is something very expensive. Oh, it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. I can't kill it with Trick Shot. Ugh. Sadness. Sadness overload. I mean, I think I'm still going to like two for one myself and do all the things. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, st I'm still going to do that. So let's, this is Saddle 1. And this is saddle three. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, ho, ho, ho. look at all this value. That's why I wanted to find like grave digging, grave digging effects to get these creatures back. All right, so let's think. Dealing two to this does not do anything. Did we hit them? They took damage, right? So skewer the critics costs one. So I can deal, oh, 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 oh. So I can trick shot, 
Kill this, deal two damage to this, then finish this off with Skewer. Oh, that's great. This keeps my Gila Courser alive. And I can still kill this token. And I can play Jasper next turn. Yeah, this is fantastic. Boom. Just grinding out our opponents with all the value. Now, this unlicensed hearse will get pretty big, right? It's going to be a 4 4, and now it can block as a 6 6. So, something for us to consider. They drew stagecoach security. All right. That's good. That's a free attack for three if they saddle because they can flicker it. Wait, why didn't they saddle? Yeah. Well, it's got vigilance. But they should have saddled. Because they would have blinked and they would have been able to scry. All right. Well, let's go ahead and play this. I don't want to forget about playing it. <laughs> Gila Courser, it can still kill something with Skewer the Critics. So it might still be worth because it still draws us a card. Or I can just wait with uh, Laughing Jasper Flint. Maybe we just wait. They're at 11. All right, you go to 10. I mean, next turn we're going to have... We're going to mill them for five. We're going to get the best card in the top five cards of their library. Resilient Roadrunner. Okay. All right. Jasper time. <laughs> we can play all of them. Oh my gosh. Let's uh, discard a swamp, I guess. Oh, man. This is amazing. I am loving this. All right, so now we have a way to turn on, uh, trigger Vadmir every turn. Next turn, I think I'm going to probably make a really big attack. Uh, Deserts do deals four damage. So I can kill the fortune. So let's kill that. This way I get a trigger end of turn, and then on my turn I get a trigger as well. All right! Laughing Jasper Flint getting it done. Honestly, it's not it wasn't just that. It was just all the two for ones, right? We had so many two for ones with our like value creatures, the vault plunderers, the courser, the bronco. That's kind of what what allowed us to eventually grind through all the powerful stuff our opponent was trying to do with the fortune. Alrighty. 5 and 1? Not bad. We have Vadmir turn 2 into vault plunderer. We are on the draw. That's fine. Drew the red source here, and we have a trick shot. So we have four lands in hand. One more land would mean that we can play the trick shot. Kind of curious, into two open mana, if I should play Vadmir or plot the Black Snag Buzzard. Because they could have something like a Desert's Dew, and I want to strand their the mana that they have. So yeah, let's um let's plot this actually. Oh, they did not have something to play. Now I can play a couple things. They'll be able to kill one of these, which is fine. Ooh. 
Like they're gonna they kept because they have a desert stew or a salvo. Desert stew, sure. But now we can go Vadmir into the Jagged Barons, into Trickshot. We are getting a little bit flooded. We have seven lands. Seven lands. Oh, they they played Mourner Surprise, so I can't attack with the Vault Plunderer. I'm okay with that. We drew another land, by the way. Not going to attack. This is a token. So if they just play a creature, I can trick shot them. Or I can just attack with the Vadmir. We'll just, we drew another land, by the way. We drew nine lands. This is kind of unreal. Like, usually screw beats flood. Huh. Yeah, I, I feel like I got to go for this. Oh, get out of town! Madnessing out Terminal Agony? Oh my gosh. That's disgusting. I went for a very, very aggressive line, which may not end up paying, up, paying, out, uh, paying off for me. Yeah, and now they drew their land. It's just... Wow, they don't even have a removal spell. Okay, never mind. We're good. Oh, Outlaw's Merriment? That's insane! <laughs> uh. Was that good? Well, I mean, they, okay, they can't win from this spot. They can't win from this spot. Holy cow. <laughs> wow. I mean, they have a good deck. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jasper Flint. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we, we all know what the thumbnail is going to be for this one. It's going to be Sir Jasper. Whew. That thing has gotten us some serious value. I am so happy I took that over the, the dragon. I mean, the dragon would have been good too, obviously. By the way, before we play my last match, we did hit Mythic. <laughs> the, the ranking system is kind of broken right now. So we did hit Mythic, which is great. We have a huge, huge climb ahead of us. We are ranked 390. Um, the big part of that is once I stopped my road to rank one, it was I kind of stopped at the end of April, and then I focused on standard. So I just haven't played limited until OTJ came out. But look, that makes this uh, this month more exciting because you get to see the steady climb up the ranks. But now we are mythic, I, uh, and that is a great feeling. All right, on the play. Ooh, this hand's great. I have a two drop. Turn to Desperate Bloodseeker into Double Vault Plunderer. Thank you. Yes, please. Do I target myself? I target myself. Oh yeah, especially when they go turn one green black land. And I'm going to play the Bloodseeker over the Buzzard. Obviously, I just want to uh, attack. Milling the Wolverine is okay here because we don't have any red sources. Lotus Ring, that's a cool one. Oh, Beast Bond Outcaster, okay. They're doing some things. Target ourself. Let's find a red source. There it is. Let's hope they don't play the Drover Grizzly or whatever. Okay, just the three. I mean, the three three is still also good. It looks like a throw from the saddle. Sure seems that way. Oh, Primal Might. Okay. Hmm. 
I don't think they're going to block. But if they do, it's good for me. Okay. Badmir was great. All right. God, I hate full control. <laughs> Ooh, Spinewood's Paladin. Okay. So we do have the opportunity here to try to punish them. The Charger is pretty good. Trickshot is nice because it can kill the Paladin, but I'll play the Charger. Just because the Vault Plunder doesn't really do anything to the board. I don't know. This is actually kind of close. If I go Vault Plunder and draw a land, then I can do the Black Snag Buzzard as well. Hmm. Yeah, let's just play the Charger. All right, Paladin coming in. Very, very good defensive creature. Into Cactarantula. Holy cow. All right. Well, that was extremely good. So we can kill the Cactarantula. If we kill the Cactarantula... Well, it's interesting because I can either... If I kill the Cactarantula, they draw a card. If I kill the Spinewood Paladin, then I can still saddle this and hit them for 5. They're at 16, though. I could offer the trade for the Vadmir for the Spinewood Paladin, which is not bad. It is pretty interesting. Hmm... I'm going to kill the Cactarantula. I'll trade Vadmir for the Spinewoods Paladin. I just want to keep the board somewhat clear so that the Menace is actually relevant here on the Charger. It's going to, unless they have a removal spell, it's going to be hard for them to block the Charger. It's going to let me push through a lot of damage. And like I said, trading my 2-drop for their Paladin is not the worst. Oh, that is quite nice. Okay, so they, they did the Sharpshooter. Um, interesting. Do I do Vault Plunderer here? I think I'm going to Vault Plunder over the Courser. If I draw land, that would be super nice. But this is actually not bad either. They're at 6 life. I can go Iron Fist Pulverizer into Black Snag Buzzard to get the trigger, which is really nice. They have a 3-3, which is fine. But, I mean, it also just depends on the size of the other big creature that they play. But we got them pretty low. They're at 6 life. Dance of the Tumbleweeds. Oh, into the um, Sharpshooter as well. Okay. So now the question is, are we willing to trade? Well, they're at six. And this thing has reach. I don't know that I want to trade the Quilled Charger here. Well, look, if I trade the Quilled Charger for the Sharpshooter, um, that does allow me to play a Black Snag Buzzard and it has an extra plus one, plus one counter and it's a flyer and they go to... Th yeah, okay. Like, when you first look at this, it doesn't seem great, but I do think this is correct. 
only because they're at, they're at such a low life total. We're going Pulverizer into Black Snag Buzzer just seems very, very nice. We get to Scry. Put that on the bottom. Play that. Play our land. Now we have a 3-2 Flyer. If we can double spell, they go to 2, and then we kill them with the Buzzard, right? And they're not really in a position to attack us with the Elemental. Contagion Engine. Oh my. Okay, if we draw any spell here, they still lose. All right, there we go. Um, boom. Oh, that kills artifacts. <laughs> All right, we got them. Beat the Contagion Engine. Red, black, two for ones. So many two for ones. Okay. Oh, I just, my mind just, I just, I wasn't even thinking. I didn't even know that was for the trophy. I didn't, okay, all right, well, we'll take it. Let's take a look at our ranking here. We are now 351, and that is another trophy. We are on absolute fire in this format. I couldn't even tell you why necessarily. One thing I will say, green does seem overdrafted. That doesn't mean you shouldn't draft it, but... Just be on the just just be mindful of that. I do think black is the second best color, so keep an eye out for the black cards if you feel that green is super overdrafted. But hey, this is the first time I tried black red, and it really really did a lot of work. So what did we learn from this draft? Well, uh, having sweet rares is nice, but yeah, uh, Jasper Flint was amazing, right? This just single handedly won you the game. This is an A level card. This is fantastic. The Vadmir was solid. Not near the level of Jasper Flint. What, what I learned also is it is not trivial to commit a crime. You feel like you're well set up for committing crimes, but honestly, like, you don't really necessarily commit all the crimes that you want. So it's just, it's, I like this card. It's solid. I do think it's good, but we didn't, we didn't have like the best setup for it. But, I mean, for a 2-drop, it's still like a 2-mana, 3-3, three, three, or 4-4. Four, four, still very good, but not on the level of Jasper Flint. But what really just allowed us to grind through everything that our opponents were trying to do was the 4x Vault Plunderer, the Courser, Jasper Flint getting us value, Irascible Wolverine. We didn't, I don't think, we cast this once, getting us value, the Bronco, just so many two-for-ones. It was really, really hard for our opponents to deal with. And we also just had a good number of interaction, right? Double Explosive Derailment, Double Skewer the Critics, Trick Shot, which ended up being very good for us. And if you don't have Big Creature Removal, you should definitely play Trick Shot in your deck. It's not insane, but a necessary evil, right? And we did not have a th way to kill a five, five, a five toughness creature, and Trick Shot was the way. I mean, it, it killed the Cactarantula, right? It was the way to help kill some big creatures for us to kind of get through. And uh, Fake Your Own Death with Quad Vault pl Plunderers, quite, quite nice as well. But yeah, was really happy with how this deck played out. I will say that... I think on the luck scale, we're definitely running pretty hot. I think um, the first few drafts, we had some combinations of getting really flooded and et cetera, et cetera. But right now, we are drawing the right mix of lands and spells. And uh, I think we were mostly in the right lane here. And it paid off for us. Paid off for us. Getting past that pack with Jasper Flint and also the big dragon. And um, yeah, just really, really happy with how the deck played out. And that is another trophy. That's like five out of six drafts. Is it five out of six drafts? I, I don't know. It's some crazy streak right now. We are, I mean, let me take a look here. Um, I just got to look at my win rate. 69% win rate. Nice. All right. Anyways, that's another trophy. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Feel free to hit the like or subscribe button for more daily videos just like this. If you've enjoyed the content and wanted to support this channel in another way, I do have a Patreon channel. Shout out to all the current patrons. Thank you so much for your support. The link to the Patreon is in the description below. Again, if you do, if you become a patron, you get access to special monthly videos. I post a, 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 a unique monthly video that's kind of more fun off the wall on the channel. And uh, also you get access to the Discord where right now it is, I mean, every time I sign on, there's just like 30 people talking about what's the pick? This is my trophy. This card was good. This card was bad. And this is kind of, it's not, it's, it's kind of like, 
you know, when you start testing for a pro tour, everybody gives their opinions on cards and that's how we all can improve together. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you tomorrow.